Representation matters, man. A lot of Asian people come up to me, very proud, very nice. They're like, Jimmy, thank you for representing the Asians, man. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, hey, you're welcome. Uh, <laughs> but you do understand it's not really a choice, right? <laughs> like when you wake up Asian, you can only represent Asians. <laughs> I couldn't just wake up one day and be like, fuck it, I'm representing Nigerians today. I'm very proud to represent Asians, but at the same time, there's so much pressure. Like, nobody ever went up to Matt Damon and be like, Hey, Matt, thanks for representing the whites. <laughs> Sounds weird. That's like a different conversation for some reason, you know? If somebody came up to me and be like, Hey, Jimmy, I'm representing for the whites, I would leave that town immediately <laughs> and never come back. So much pressure to represent. I got to be a good Asian everywhere now. I got a tip everywhere I go. <laughs> that was one of the major advantages of being Asian, is I can just pretend I don't know how to tip. <laughs> Y'all know what a Chinese tip is? Chinese tip, it doesn't matter how big your bill is, you tip $2, that's a Chinese. <laughs> that's a Chinese tip, man. Now I gotta tip 20% everywhere. I gotta give every Uber driver a five-star rating just so I can be a good representative. <laughs> Everywhere I go, I gotta represent. Even day-to-day -day shit. Even the bedroom, I gotta represent. <laughs> After I hooked up with this one girl, this is what she said to me. She was like, Jimmy, um, I don't know how to tell you this, but you're the first Asian guy I've ever been with. I'm like, okay. <laughs> what, do you want a fortune cookie? Like, what? <laughs> She acted like she just unlocked a new character on Street Fighter or some shit. <laughs> Why do you feel the need to say that? This one girl said this shit that was so disrespectful. This is what she said to me after we hooked up. She was like, Jimmy, um, I'm just glad the stereotype's not true. <laughs> you don't have a small penis. And I'm like, bitch, you understand? You're just insulting my entire race of people. But thank you. First of all, thank you for thinking that I did have a small penis and we still had sex. <laughs> you the real MVP. <laughs> you get two fortune cookies tonight, miss. <laughs> mm, thank you. But that's a fucked up stereotype, right? That's not even true. That's a fucked up stereotype. Everybody should have average dick until proven guilty. <laughs> I don't care how tall you are, what ethnicity you are, how big your hands are. Everybody should start at average dick. Eight inches. <laughs> and we go from there. There's so much pressure, man. Now I feel like every time I have sex, there's a billion Chinese people on my back just judging me. <laughs> I, I gotta make sure I perform and represent, you know? I gotta get him an extra pump for my uncle in Shanghai, <laughs> an extra pump for my nephew in Hong Kong and shit. It's like, oh my God. That's why you see all oh, Asian people, they be walking like this, just like. <laughs> It's so much pressure.